And Joyce, police sources tell me 23-year-old Jason Randhawa surrendered this afternoon for what happened here early yesterday morning. He has not yet been criminally charged. He was still being interviewed by detectives this afternoon. Sukwinder Randhawa told me first his son Jason, seen in this Ozaki County booking photo from last year, was sorry for what happened, but later said he hadn't spoken to his son and was sorry for everyone. Very, very sad. Very sorry. A police source tells us the triple fatal hit and run suspect surrendered to officers here at Milwaukee Police Headquarters early this afternoon. Jason Randhawa is not yet criminally charged. Police say a hit and run driver ran a red light and slammed into an Uber car, killing three women from Chicago. They have a lot of sympathy to their family. You know? Police sources say after hitting the Uber car, Randhawa abandoned his wrecked Lexus and ran away from the scene along with a passenger. This booking photo is from a 2015 arrest by Mequon police. Court and police records show Randhawa was found guilty of operating while revoked, OWI related, after he drove the wrong way on a divided highway. Records also show in 2011 he was ticketed for running a red light and driving 70 in a 45. Difficult day for you too. Everybody, for them too, for us too, everybody. Again, Jason Randhawa has not been criminally charged, yet public records show he was convicted of operating while intoxicated last year and his license was revoked for six months. Live in Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News.